Hey there, Lisa here with this month's Ayurveda Hacks. Uh, I wanted to talk this month about protein, getting enough protein in our meals as we move towards the spring season here in the Northern Hemisphere, at least. Um, we start to pull back from a lot of the heavier animal proteins that we use in the wintertime to keep ourselves grounded in that Vata season. Now we start moving a little more plant-based, maybe a few more vegetarian meals in your uh, weekly menu. Um, and of course it's cleanse season coming up. And so a lot of people ask me if they are, uh, you know, they're concerned about getting enough protein during a cleanse because we really do cut out all of those trigger foods and all animal products. So I just wanted to uh, make a quick little Buddha bowl to just give you an idea of how much protein we are getting in a meal that does not contain any animal products. And so Buddha bowls to me are just such a great, easy way to just kind of throw everything together in one bowl, have plenty of protein and um, quick and easy without a whole lot of prep. So before we dive into our recipe here, um, I just wanted to talk about how much protein is enough protein. So unless you're a world-class athlete, you don't need as much protein as maybe you think you do. Um, we, uh, especially if you have a more sedentary lifestyle, then you're going to need even less. So depending on your activity level. So for instance, if you are um, if you have a job that is more sedentary, if you are sitting at a computer for the majority of the day, and maybe you do some light to moderate exercise throughout the week, you're going to be somewhere around 12 to 15 grams of protein per 500 uh, calorie meal. So somewhere 12 to 15 grams of protein in that one meal is enough for uh, an average body. Someone who's a little more active, if you're a little more physical in your job or you have more of an intense workout routine, you might wanna bump that up to somewhere between 15 to 20 grams per 500 calorie meal. And that should give you enough energy, uh, enough protein to sustain that level of activity. So what I'm going to make today is, like I said, it's a Buddha bowl, and I'm going to show you some ways to get some uh, protein in here uh, without using any kind of animal products. So there are a lot of vegetables that have more protein than you would expect. So we do get protein from our vegetables, from our grains. So if you're eating a well-rounded diet, if you're including grains, vegetables, fruits into your diet, you should be doing okay with your protein intake. Some clues to um, not enough protein would be maybe um, feeling a uh, lack of energy or feeling tired a lot of the time. Check to see that you're getting enough protein. Also, chronic loose stool can also be a sign that there's not enough protein in the diet. Um, so just take a look at, at your meals um, and notice, are you getting a well-rounded, are you getting enough protein in that meal? So today's bowl is going to start out with some quinoa. So quinoa is going to be the base of my, of my Buddha bowl today. And quinoa is actually not a grain. It really is a seed. And so nuts and seeds are another really great way to get our protein. So I'm using about a cup of uh, quinoa, I'm sorry, about a half a cup of quinoa. And that's about eight grams of protein right there. So I'm going to put my quinoa in my bowl here. And that's going to be the base of my Buddha bowl. So the next thing I'm going to put in is some, uh, some vegetables that I have uh, steamed ahead of time. And I drizzled these with some ghee and just a little salt and pepper. You can season this any way you like. You can cook some of your spices into your ghee and drizzle that over top of your steamed veggies, or um, maybe using your dosha spice blend um, is a really nice way to get some flavor in there as well. So here I have about a half a cup each of broccoli, carrots, and peas. 
So the broccoli, about a half a cup of broccoli is going to give you about two grams of protein. A half a cup of carrots is going to give you another gram of protein. And then the peas, of course, they pack a lot of protein because they are actually a legume. Uh, so a half a cup of peas is going to give you four grams of protein. So I'm going to put my veggies right over top of my quinoa. And there's a beautiful, vibrant bowl with all those gorgeous colors in there. Um, so again, your choice of veggies. So just uh, mixing it up and um, you can always Google, thank goodness for Google. You can always Google to find out how much protein is in a particular vegetable, making sure that you're getting a well-rounded meal. So I have my base, my quinoa, I have my vegetables on top. And now what I'd like to do is make a dressing that will also add more protein to my bowl. And so one of my favorite dressings for the spring is tahini, a basic tahini dressing. This can go on all kinds of things. Tahini is simply sesame paste or, or sesame. It's, it's like, you know, almond butter, only it's sesame butter. So we are going to make a basic tahini dressing. And this is so nice because then you can build off of that. You can make other things out of this same base of a dressing. So I'm going to start out with about a quarter cup of tahini. So tahini kind of is a little bit liquidy. There's uh, some oil to it. And this is just such a great source of protein. And it's also a great source of good, healthy fats. So about a quarter cup and I say about, I know that the pitta minds will want precise um, measurements and I will post a recipe, but truly you want this to taste good to you. And so what tastes good to you might be a little bit different than what tastes good to someone else. So these are all ish. And I, again, I know that pitta doesn't love ish. They want precise. So I will give you the basic recipe. I will post that, um, but do adjust and make it taste good for yourself. So about a quarter cup of tahini, and then I'm gonna put about three tablespoons of lemon juice. So fresh squeezed lemon, about three tablespoons. A little bit of lemon juice in there. Then I'm going to put a clove of garlic. So this is fresh garlic that I just ground up. You can always use the jarred stuff if that's easier. So put a little bit of garlic in there. Garlic is such a great, uh, addition to the spring diet because of the pungency of it. So good for kapha dosha. If you have a lot of pitta in your digestion or a lot of fiery, uh, you know, burning, uh, upward moving energy, um, uh, reflux, anything like that, then you may want to pull back or eliminate the garlic, but it does add a really nice flavor. The other thing I'm going to put in here is about a teaspoon or so of honey. And again, you can adjust that. You might like it a little sweeter, a little less sweet. I'll put about a teaspoon of honey into my dressing. And then just a pinch of salt, pinch of pepper, and we're gonna give that a stir. And then just a little bit of about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of um, olive oil. So a little bit of olive oil just to thin it out a bit. All right. So stirring that in, I have a really nice tahini dressing. Now this is going to give me about another seven grams of protein in my bowl. And I'm just going to drizzle my tahini over my bowl. So again, this is about another seven grams. So all said and done, this bowl is going to contain about 22 grams of protein. This is plenty of protein for one sitting. So this is perfect. I had a rather vigorous uh, yoga practice this morning. So this is going to be a really great way of boosting my protein. And then another way to add even just a little more protein, if you're feeling that you need that extra protein, is I'm going to put some uh, sunflower seeds on top of mine. These are roasted sunflower seeds. You can use walnuts. You can use any kinds of any kind of seeds that that you like, uh, just to give it a little crunch and to add a little more protein. So this is our Buddha bowl.
with 22 grams of protein. So as we approach this cleanse season, start to think about different ways of making these bowls. Maybe the base is rice. Maybe your vegetables are switched out. Maybe your tahini dressing, you can add some um, uh, different ingredients to your tahini dressing to um, change the flavor up a little bit. Uh, this is really nice with some Dijon mustard in it. Gives it a little tang. Again, super good for that cup of dosha. You can also do a, a really nice pesto. Pesto is another way of just uh, increasing a little bit of protein and lots of flavor. So pesto with any greens really that you like. Basil is the, the more traditional way of making pesto, but you can use really any greens. The greens, the bitter flavor of those greens are going to be really terrific for, again, that cup of season. So we want to start focusing a little more on the bitter, pungent, and astringent flavors that come with the spring vegetables. So all of these greens that are going to start coming into season soon, this is what we want to start uh, adding into our diet. And then I'm a great lover of sauce, of, of different things to drizzle on top for flavor, for nutrition, protein, all of those things. It's just really great. So I hope this helps you to start thinking about and preparing for your spring cleanse as you'll be uh, eating a lot of kitchery and a lot of um, plant-based meals throughout the month of March and or April. So our spring consultations are coming up. If you are currently in a program, we'll be doing spring consultations in the month of March. And so I look forward to seeing you all then. Please do post any questions or pictures of what your Buddha bowl looks like and maybe some of your favorite sauces and drizzles and uh, do share with the community. So thanks all for joining me and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Take good care.